There he is, the disgraceful old rogue. You've got Finn well trained. He was absolutely insistent I didn't come up and disturb you earlier. Well, I, I have no idea why. I would imagine it's because he knew you were sleeping off a hangover. Anyway, we need to talk about the meeting. What meeting? Rug tree bonds. Rug what? It's the name of Cast Investment Company. We're meeting them at three. I told you yesterday, we're not seeking investment. I know you did, but then I thought, where's the harm in showing her around the ground? So I left it in the book. Then cancel it. Now. Here. Ugh. It's horrible. I know. They say it's like grief, ending a relationship. But then someone else comes along eventually. And you forget why you were so upset. But you can't make this a habit. The doctors were very clear about alcohol. Trust me, Rebecca. Never again. Them when you were out there, I ate them till my fingers turned yellow. And the first thing I see now when I think of Australia. Hey, welcome back to the top half of the world. Thanks. <laughs> did you have a good time? Bet you did. Vin said he fell in love with the place. So, what did you like most? The crisps. You know, we've got to go. She's jet lagged. She needs to go to bed. See you. Mum. Mum. You were really rude to her just then. No, I wasn't. Has something happened? Oh, look what the sun's done to your hair. You're changing the subject. I need to see you immediately. <laughs> Someone's in trouble with the Lord of the Manor. You always stick your nose in other people's texts. Yeah? <laughs> One seventy, mate. You need to go and see your granddad, all right? Because he's in a state. Well, I've been really busy of late, if you haven't noticed. It's been constant. Oh, Twitter. Yeah, well, I was just checking up to see what the other salons were posting. Was it about a needy boss who wouldn't leave them alone for two minutes because she's got nothing better to do? That wasn't very nice. Seriously, you've been driving him crazy. What? Well, who, who said that? Well, I'm not going to snitch. But you should make some time for granddad. Okay, if you're at a loose end. Okay, let's get a look at you. You're not actually that bad. I know about you and your big booze up sesh with Lawrence. It wasn't a sesh. Well, according to Rebecca, it was. Well, she's exaggerating. Well, you just sit there and enjoy your black coffee. Just get up there and see him. Because there's some people around here that might want to take advantage. Stairs blowing out the Hoover. It's blocked. She had a coat hanger down it, but it won't reach. And the air dryer's gonna melt the hose, so she reckons she can blow it out. You aren't paying her enough. Did you get it out? Yeah, eventually. I think it all got wrapped round itself. Oh, came out like a tennis ball. Do you want to see it? No, thank you. I want to talk to you about the tan, mate. Now, I've had someone in who knows what they're doing this time, so it's all up and running, and they're gonna send someone out to teach you how to use it. So keep a few evenings free. Evenings? That means overtime. I'm paying them, I'm not paying you and all. Oh, I'm not working evenings for now. Anyway, I know how we use it. Right, what are you doing next Thursday? Seriously, man, have you not noticed? Geordie. So? Tannins in my blood. It's like sniffing out coal for us like that. Operating a tan mate is a little bit more complicated than that. Well, yeah, it's all the same principle, though. You're not putting my mind at rest. This is a very sophisticated piece of equipment and I can't afford any more disasters. Seriously, Bernice, they're trying it on. They just want your money. Just cancel the time teacher and let me add it. All right, then. But I've got a lot invested in this, so mess it up and you'll be getting your P whatever it is. 45. <sighs> I need my scissors. Australia's given Gabby split ends. Are you sure you know how to use this? It looks a bit complicated to me. You're gonna have to call Daz and get him over and all I might need the tub of you. What for? Practice, man. I have to do it with a real person. Mm. Let's get it up down. Yeah. 
Yabba-dabba-doo! Oh, I think I might have heard your Jimmy. He was Tarzan, not... <laughs> I never said anything, though. <sighs> Just sick of it. The butt of every joke, Jimmy. Yeah, sorry. Anyway, don't forget Gabby's party later on. It's nothing big. Just family and you two. Can't wait. Oh. <laughs> hey, Nick, Nick. I was just thinking about catering. Well, Robert! Robert! What do you want me to do? Robert! Oh, Oh, not now, Lucky. What happened yesterday? What do you mean? Well, I think, you know, you're getting wasted with Robert. I don't think that's any of your business. Well, I think it is when he's always at the house. He's the father of Rebecca's baby. <laughs> You'll never learn, will you? No, I have to go. Oh, love. Are you pining? Are you missing? Uh -uh. Why are you not working? But it's lunchtime. Well, you know how important it is to keep an active life in later years. Do you mean my later years? But I go out all the time. <laughs> I've got bingo tonight, and then uh, the macrame soiree on Monday, and the Rotary Club on Tuesday, the, on Wednesday. I like to go to the pub. And Thursday, it's the WI Book Club. Hey, why don't you come? The WI book club. No, stupid. Bingo. It'll take your mind off things. I'm not playing number games with a bunch of geriatrics. Don't be so rude. And don't be such an old stuffy pants. Well, we'll just go to the bingo for the afternoon and come back in time for tea. Uh, hey, guess where me and Paddy are going? Tell him. We're going pole dancing, Marlon. Bingo. Pole dancing? You're kidding. No, she literally means we're going to go to bingo. You've been ages. I got caught, didn't I, just outside? Which reminds me we're going to Laurel's tonight. Oh, Nico! I've already promised. If you'd seen her, she's fragile at the moment. I'm fragile. Everybody would be laughing about yesterday. <laughs> Jimmy, you're not fragile. You're damaged goods. This is ridiculous. We're never going to get any time on our own. You need to say something. Running away isn't going to help anyone. Tell me you're not going to say anything. Please. Every time I see Rebecca and Lachlan, I, I, I panic. I can't stand this, Robert. I know. And I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have reacted the way I did. I, I don't know exactly what issues you're dealing with from the past, but... I didn't think about how difficult all this must be for you. OK. I honestly care about Rebecca, and I care about you, and I've no intention of ruining everything if I can help it. You can. This doesn't have to go any further. I'm sorry, Lawrence. Hey, uh... All I want is to do right by my family, and look how things are turning out. Poor Rebecca. I must be dreadful to be around, and home farm is in a mess. <sighs> How do I fix this, Robert? Denise, Kerry, customer. Stop whinging. You said this. Would Hello. Be Man. We weren't getting it right, that's all. I've split my paper pants. They call that a problem. Think she shifted one of my nipples with a force. Give over. You can't shift a nipple. Look at it. It used to be there. It used to be at an inch to the right. I feel violated. These aren't proper pants. They're more like a, a Christmas cracker party hat for your knackers. Will you just bring down the wet wipes and shut up? 
Okay. All right. Hi. Door was open. I didn't hear anything. Who told you? Oh, I thought you might have been beneath. <sighs> Will you hurry up? Oh, no way, mate. No. No, there's no way you're getting me in there. Oh, easy automatic tanning, mate. Do you know what? This might as well be a helicopter manual for all I can tell. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, you just have to come clean then, aren't you? And tell the truth. Hey, it's time to go. Oi, there for the party! Don't make a mess because she's going to be here in a minute. Do you think you might be worrying a bit too much? Yeah, well, I'm just a bit nervous. I haven't seen her for five months. <laughs> hey, hey! Oh, the wonder from hey. down under! <laughs> when you go away. I'm sticking right here. Oh, well, I think I need to breathe now. <laughs> oh, you miss me? You have no idea. You look different. You look older. Yeah, that's because I'm five months older. Actually, it's probably because Mum's been snipping out my split ends. Are you going to give your big sister a hug? OK. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, you made it. Nice to see you again. Kath! I'm sorry, I was under the impression we'd cancelled. Well, we had, but then we rescheduled. We were hoping you'd be here in time to show around the grounds. OK. My daughter is impatient to stamp her vision on the business, and I, for one, can't wait to see it happen. Well, I'm ready for the tour. <laughs> well, those shoes won't do, <laughs> but I'm sure Rebecca can find you some Wellingtons to fit. You know, Lawrence, this is a good thing you've done. For Rebecca, and for the business as well. Well, thank you for making me see sense. You never know. Maybe it'll all work out well in the end. Dare to hope. Someone to see you. Richard! Although he did say he was happy with me. Oh, how dare you? <clears throat> Crisps. It's a bit embarrassing, actually. Maybe time to go now, mate. Well, now that you've finished stuffing your face with kids' party food. <sighs> Feels like the end of an era, doesn't it? Oh, it's not, though. We're so close, you'll be able to open your window and hear one of those drops. <laughs> one of yours, you mean? <laughs> Well, uh, thanks for having us, Laurel. It's been lovely. Well, you're, not, you're not leaving. Well, Jimmy's got stuff to do. No, well, not before I've given Gabby a present. And have you seen what Lydia's making? Is it more potato salad? Oh. Come on. And there's cake, too. Oh, you're kidding. I'm stuffed. But I want you to open this first. Oh. <sighs> I couldn't, all right. I've seen this before, wasn't this Dad's? His grandmother gave it to him. And it's yours now, so look after it. So, who's for cake? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't say no. <laughs> but if you did, I'd respect that, because no means no. Can we watch one of Dad's videos? Um, uh, now? Yeah, it'll make it seem like he's here. Yeah, but, but it always feels like he's here. Looking down on us. Come on, let's try some of this lovely cake. Yes! Oh. Yes, that's a good idea. Give that help. Oh, I bought him that. Oh, is that Kyle? Uh, excuse me, a bit rude. Sorry. Honestly, I hate it when people do that. Could have been showing you any kind of picture then, eh? Oh, here he is. Eyes down, clickety click. Monkey's uncle, the fours. You know, all the fours. Droopy drawers. What are you on about? Guess he's been to the bingo. Bingo? Oh, that was for old people. That's what Paddy thought before he came along. I'm not joking. That was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, do you know, I read an article that says that young people actually really like bingo. Hey, it's just... He's pulled. I can see it on his face. Paddy? Did you grab a granny? Don't be so vulgar. You don't have to go on the pool to have a good night out, and you of all people should know that. Pearl's right. Bingo's ace. I don't think my Friday nights will ever be the same ever again. Port and lemon. Do you know what? I think I'll join you. <laughs> Left my wallet in the car. <laughs> 99. <laughs> I'll be back in time. <laughs> I have never been so embarrassed in my whole life. Why? What did he do? He kept telling the caller to slow down, shouting bingo when he hadn't got the numbers, and talking to people who were trying to concentrate. I'm serious. He nearly got us thrown out. He needs a woman. 
I don't know, Mom. This is not natural. Why were you so snappy with Emma earlier? I wasn't snappy. Yes, you were. It's a bit embarrassing, actually. And then at Laurel's, there was a weird atmosphere when I wanted to see Dad's videos. Oh, I didn't notice. Something's not right. I'm not stupid. No, I know you're not. There's a problem with the videos. It, they've been damaged. What do you mean? How? Well, I, I don't know the full details, and, and Laurel has been through a tough time lately, um, including one or two fights with Emma. What's Emma got to do with anything? Apparently, after the crash, your dad told the police that he saw someone on the bridge when James Barton fell. Laurel's got it into her head that it was Emma. Oh, no way. So she thinks Emma killed him? Well, That's crazy. Like I said, I don't know the full ins and outs of it. And Laurel, she hasn't really been herself lately. You mean she's been drinking? Well, maybe one little blip when you weren't here. But since then, nothing. I'm positive of it. And we've been keeping an eye on her. Dad's videos. Something happened to them. I can't swear on the details. But Laurel blamed Emma for it. For what? What's happened to them? They're gone, Gabby. I'm so sorry, sweetheart. Have you word do it now? Well, I'm dreading telling her. I mean, whatever way I put it, it's either going to make me sound like a raving alky or, or it's just going to open up all that conflict with Emma again. Oi! Nick, it's fine. I can't get drunk off the fumes, can I? Everybody just treats me with kid gloves. Apart from you two. You're the only people who I can feel really comfortable with. <laughs> <laughs> so quiet in this house now. You know, when the, the kids have gone to bed and Lydia's out. Can you hear that? That dripping tap. <laughs> Jimmy, wasn't there something you wanted to say? <clears throat> I'll fix it. I'll fix your drip. Oh, no, no, no. I'll no, fix your drip. Kind of you, but m maybe do it tomorrow. Yeah, stay, stay now, and I'll, I'll put the kettle on again. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers. What? Are you really going back there next week? Yeah. I've got me on dabber now and everything. Do you want to come? No. No, I don't want to come to the bingo because it's depressing. You've got. Plenty of time for all that when you're living in an old people's home. Don't spoil it now, or you'll have nothing to look forward to. It's like soiling myself in public. I'm serious, no. May I suggest an alternative, something we can both do? Bingo. Ah! Shit, of course I can't write the bingo! Online dating. No, absolutely not. No, we've done it before and you know what happened. But everybody's doing it now, Paddy. Everybody, and you. You owe it to the ladies. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's the love spiders. Oh, they want you to join. Come on, go! Get off. All right. Well, download it now before you chicken out, and I will do the same. See you again soon. Yes. For everything. Of course. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Who was that woman? That was the investor who, thanks to my quite brilliant daughter here, has agreed a deal that should save Home Farm. How much are you selling? 30%? I don't think that's a... Don't worry. She's only going to be a silent partner. You still haven't told me what changed your mind. You've been dead against this from the start. Nearly bit my head off this morning. It's quite the about turn. Does it matter? I'm guessing it might have been Robert. Well, maybe he's convinced me that I need to listen to other people. Trust them a little more.
said they'd sign it as soon as the lawyers looked at it. You can go now. Uh, charming. No thank you or congratulations on a great performance. Could have been the highlight of my show, really, if I'd recorded it. I'll get to Hollywood. Your thank you will be in your account by the middle of Monday. Is it weird that I enjoyed this? No, I hope not, because I'll tell you what, I really am. <sighs> Just one thing I'm curious about. Rug tree bonds. Why? It's an anagram. Think about it. Robert Sugden. Enjoy home farm. The Cold Feet Gang are back for a brand new series, continuing tonight at nine as we learn the consequences of Matt's shocking revelation. And there's lavish drama to look forward to on Sunday at nine as the headstrong Queen sets sail for France. New Victoria continues. Coronation Street is up next tonight.